Our client just came back for a third phase of their Crimson Fists army, and this is what they've asked for. So we've completed two previous phases of Crimson Fists for our clients. And as soon as the Agastus box was released, they got in touch with us asking to add the Desolation Marines and also the Brutalist Dreadnoughts to their army. The whole entire force has been painted by Morgan, one of the artists here at Siege. Something that's really important when it comes to presenting a very beautiful force is a consistent basing scheme, which adds value of environment, narrative to the models and miniatures in your collection. This force does not disappoint. We've done a really cool urban environment uh, like to sort of destroy the battleground environment on these models. And as you can see here on this Desolation Marine, we've got large chunks of sort of ferrocrete or concrete that are on there with some sort of rusty kind of orangey brown tones on the base as well. And this is so that those colors contrast the rich blue, the almost royal blue of the Crimson Fist armor and really add a bit of interest to those bases. Uh, really do love a, a sort of urban environment and a neutral toned grey kind of base. I think it, it sort of adds a lot of interest to sort of more vibrant models. Um, we've got some pipes and things that have been put on here. So if you have a look at this other Desolation Marine, you can see we've got some sort of rusty pipe that's on there with some rich kind of orange and brown tones, some sort of floor plating as well, just to show like the floor of in the inside of a building or something. But these little details really add a lot to the environment and tell that story that you really want to convey with your force. In the force, as I mentioned, we've got 20 Desolation Marines. Now, they really are the Marmite of the Primaris range. When they were released, there was a lot of sort of people not liking them and possibly liking them. I think for, for an additional unit to Primaris Army, they do add quite a lot of interest. It's completely different from a lot of the other models in the range. Uh, and it's nice to see a big chunk of them as well in this force. So well, let's, let's jump in and have a look at them. Again, all different types of uh, launchers that you've got in there. Obviously, you've got this one with all the sort of uh, openings on the sort of flaps at the front and the missile pods, that sort of belt-fed missile launcher underneath, which is really cool. I do really like the sort of weathering that our client has requested across the models, just showing that they've been fighting on the environment for a prolonged period of time. Um, again, all with transfers on there, so the Crimson Fist transfers, as you can see. Um, I do love the fact that Morgan's picked out all the little dials and buttons on the arms, showing that interaction of the armor and the function of the armor as well, which is really important. You've also got some buttons and things on the actual weaponry that have been painted. If we move around the back, you can see the weathering and all the damage that's been done on the Ceramite armor as well. I do love the leather on the models has also been painted in black as well. Um, brown would have stood out quite massively against the sort of more sort of uh, richer tones of the blue. So we wanted a sort of darker kind of leather color and black works really well with the overall sort of uh, composition of the colors. Let's have a look at one of the sergeants from the Desolation squads. Again, toting an absolutely massive launcher, um, just really shows the strength of the Primaris Marines being able to lift the weaponry of that, uh, of that sort of size and caliber. He's definitely not skipped arm day. Um, but really, really great sort of pose, obviously firing with the pistol as well, which is great while advancing over that sort of rubble and scenery that's on the base. We've got a skull and pipe on his base as well, which is great. Um, but again, all the warheads and stuff on the missiles have been done in a red just to really sort of make those stand out against the sort of more black and silver, silver tones or metallic tones on the overall sort of, uh, sort of colorway on the miniatures. I do like that all of the uh, sort of uh, targeter lenses and things like that are done in a nice green as well, using that sort of contrasting complementary color to the red. Uh, and adding a lot of interest to those specific details that are on the miniatures also. The bare face has obviously been painted as well with all the eyes, teeth, details, everything you expect from us here at Siege to paint it to a really high standard uh, on these miniatures. And just so you're aware, all of the Desolation Marines in this force have been painted to our silver level. So it gives you a really good idea of what to expect on rank and file infantry from us at silver level. So to back up the 20 Desolation Marines and the torrent of missiles that they fire, we've got two Brutalis Dreadnoughts. Now, if you've watched a lot of our videos, you know I'm a big fan of a Dreadnought and these two do not disappoint. Um, Brutalis, we needed a close combat version for the Primaris range and these guys, as I said, don't disappoint. Um, they have loads of weaponry on them, both close combat and also shooting, and our client has elected to have them fully magnetized, both on the front and on the arms. But just to show you, you can change over these different panels really quickly and really easily for function and choice when you're playing games. Now onto the painting, um, really great set of different angles and things to execute when it comes to painting. There's loads of edge highlighting as you can see on there. And I love the fact that the, both the fists in true crimson fist style are bright crimson red to really show that chapter lineage. All the metallics are really nicely edge highlighted. And I love the fact that all the aquilas and things and like the symbols of the Imperium are painted in a silver. All the transfers as well that have, been painted, that have been put on these models have been selected for their locations by our clients. So our client has chosen where will the transfers are to go on the models. Um, which is a great way to add that chapter lineage to your miniatures by adding transfers. And finally, just to finish it off, 
you've got the exact same sort of basing approach when it comes to that really lovely urban environment with those really rich kind of like orangey brown tones to show the rust and things just to contrast against the royal blue that we've got for the armor uh, and finishing off the piece really well and that's the two brutalist red noughts they're both exactly the same we're both fully magnetized and they're all now ready to go to our client and absolutely tear it up on the board for him so thanks for watching the video guys i really appreciate it ever so much i do hope that you've liked this crimson fish showcase there's some really lovely models and if you'd like some miniatures painted by us to add to your collection be it from space marines or any other faction or game system head to the link in the description of this video and complete a contact form for your free quotes Finally, from all the team here and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. If you can help us out by liking this video and subscribing to our channel to keep up to date, we would all appreciate it greatly. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.